Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and what you see behind me right here is my new UV sterilization rack. If you're like me since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic, you've wanted to be cleaning things as they come into your home. I've come up with a variety of different ways of doing that. I've done videos on it. Here are some of them right here in the uh, clickable links. Uh, but one problem with a lot of uh, the products that are available off the shelf, like small UV sterilization boxes, is that they're small. You can only put things like your cell phone keys, mail, things like that in there. Uh, that works really great for that. A lot of them have timers, but for larger items, you really had to clean them when they came into your home using other methods. I know whenever I would go grocery shopping, it'd be a whole process when we'd get home, we had to go through everything, either bleach or soap and water, or you know, find some way of sterilizing everything. It took a lot of time, it, took, it created a lot of mess. When you're working with bleach, you, know, you have to have the rubber gloves, it drips all over everything. So I wanted to come up with another method that would be quicker, cleaner, and easier, and that is what I've got behind me right now. Now this is all built with things that you can just buy commercially right now just off the shelf. I am gonna have links down in the description below to every item that I have here. So if you'd like to build your own, you can go right down there and grab all of you know what you would need. And this is very important what I'm about to say right now. The lamps in this system I have personally tested with a UVC meter. I bought a UVC meter, which are not cheap, because I wanted to make sure that any UVC lights that I was depending on for the life of myself and the life of my family actually work. And I have found that there are a lot of lights out there that do not work. There are a lot of UVC lights that make lots of claims about like you can sterilize X, Y, or Z in 30 seconds, and they are not true. The light bulbs on here are the most intense, most powerful UVC uh, uh, creation devices that I have tested so far. They put out about uh, 25 to 30 microjoules per square centimeter each, and I have six of them in this system. And this system can sterilize groceries in about a minute and a half. I always do it longer than that. I like to do overkill. Uh, and I'm gonna walk, kind of walk you through the way that this thing uh, works and everything. But I want you to know that, that everything that is here, I have personally tested. Links to the products are below. So you know that what you're getting is a device that actually works because it's great for companies to make promises to you, but if they're untrue, that doesn't do you any good. So what you see uh, basically right here is a metal rack. This is something I already had. You can buy these for under $100. That's an off that's a lot of money, but they're multi-purpose. You can use them for all sorts of things. You know, after the pandemic finishes its course and someday it will, this is something that's useful for other purposes. So uh, I, I got this rack here because it uh, has a lot of airy space between the bars. The light can go through it really easily. Uh, it creates a little bit of reflectivity itself and it's strong and you know, I already had it. So I'm using that. Uh, the lights uh, fixtures that I'm using are just simple clamp-on light fixtures. They're the kind of things you just get at a, a home hardware store. Uh, they also have uh, reflector dishes on a number of the lights here. And I have the lights on the corners uh, going uh, down the sides and lights in the middle. The one challenge with UVC light, and I suppose it's the same challenge with bleach or anything like that, is that it has to touch every surface of an object. And if there are shadows created within that object, you know, anything that's in those shadows is not going to be sterilized. So that's why I have lights on all sides, on the outsides, in the middle of the rack. Uh, and also there is some foil. Now I could definitely put more foil on this and I plan to. At the moment I have foil across the top. That is just a simple car uh, reflector that, uh, you know, you put in the front dashboard of your car to keep your car from getting hot. I've got one of those run over the, uh, over the top, but you could certainly put more on the sides. You could use aluminum foil uh, on cardboard, it, you know, aluminum foil adhered to cardboard and that would allow you uh, to do two things one it's going to protect your walls from UVC light UVC light is damaging on plastics and pretty much everything so the more you can protect the room that you're uh, using this device in the better so if you can put foil to contain the light within your shelf that's going to be helpful for the room around you and also it's going to be redirecting more of those um, damaging rays into the viruses that you want to destroy as far as the bulbs that i'm using like i said these are the most powerful bulbs that i've been able to find to date they're down in the description if you want to get them they are available now they are slightly more than they used to cost before the pandemic but they have come way down from the days when there was really really severe price gouging you can get each one of these bulbs for $35 and if you just wanted to use one of these bulbs and create a small sterilization box 
that would be really, really powerful. It'd be more powerful than any sterilization box that I've seen available commercially online. So if you got even just one of these bulbs, you could really make a system that would really cook the virus out of things. A couple of other notes about how this system runs. Uh, I have all of the lights going into one power strip and that way you could imagine that they can all be turned on and off at the same time, but you do not want to be turning them on and off at the same time if you're in the same room. Now the power strip of the system is down at the bottom. I leave it in the permanent on position and I have an extension cord that runs out of this room which has a door and you'll notice behind me also has a window and I'll get uh, to why the window is important in a little bit. The power cord runs out of the room and I can close the door to this room and plug it in while I'm not in the room that's really important because the UVC light is very damaging to your eyes and it is damaging to your skin it's damaging to everything it is a very dangerous weapon against viruses and it's also bad for us uh, I mentioned that there's a window in this room and that's kind of important you need to have or you would prefer to have I'm giving you advice here you should prefer to have a window or a vent in the room that can uh, vent the air from the room where you're going to be running this device outside and the reason for that is because when you run UVC lights they are bombarding the air in whatever room you're in with their high energy you know radiation and they are breaking down regular uh, oxygen molecules which is O2 two oxygen molecules bonded to each other they're breaking them apart and then they uh, some of those free oxygen uh, atoms are recombining with other O2 and they're creating O3 which is ozone and ozone is unstable and it is uh, it's damaging to your lungs to breathe it in so uh, as you're running the system, it's gonna be creating ozone in the room. The ozone itself is also damaging to the virus, so it's there to help you. But if you walk into the room, you're not only gonna smell ozone, but it's gonna be going into your lungs. That's damaging for you. So you're gonna to wanna to have a, a way of venting that ozone out. A window, a vent, make sure it's not venting to some place where you know it's also dangerous to be. It's not venting into like someone's, <laughs> someone else's room or something like that. Uh, but you wanna be able to clean that air out. Now, if you could really seal the room up so that it's hermetically sealed and none of that ozone is gonna get out, ozone, like I said, is unstable and it's gonna break down of its own accord anyway. So you don't have to have a vent in there if you can get the room hermetically sealed. And her by hermetically sealed, I mean no air in, no air out. It's absolutely sealed. The ozone's gonna break down anyway. Like I said, it's unstable. That's its want. It wants to break down back to O2 and as it does it, is releasing uh, energy particles, which are what you don't want in your lungs. But the fastest way to do it is to have a window and you really want it to be fast because one of the great things about this system is you come back from the grocery store and you have ice cream or you have anything that wants to go into the refrigerator instead of having to wait to go through the washing process, uh, you throw it in here. Uh, what I do, like I said, a minute and a half should technically be enough uh, for this system to sterilize everything. And that is because I have six lamps two in the middle, two on the sides. Um, what I do is that I will run it for two and a half minutes and then I, while the window's open, I'll let the air kind of clear a little bit. I'll come in here, I'll rotate everything. This thing, uh, this box of cliff bars, it is exposed to this bulb on this side. There's another bulb up here that's kind of getting over here, but I'll just come and I will give them a rotation. All of these things just get like a little rotation here and there twisting everything so that way you're getting all the sides now the more foil you put around it the more that light is going to naturally around, uh, wrap around things anyhow if i had full foil around this entire system and i or mirrors or you know whatever you have this reflective uh if i had all of that around this system i you know i may not feel like i have to rotate things as much i don't have that so i'm rotating things to be on the safe side but i give it two passes making sure that every face has been uh, exposed let the stuff air out and then you can pretty quickly put things away and they're not all dripping with bleach and all, you know, all the liabilities uh, associated with that because bleach isn't something you really want on your skin and, and your lungs either. So if this system is something that you'd be interested in creating, again, links to everything down below. I tested everything, I know that they work and that's really, really important because like I said, Promises from companies are wonderful, but you really, really need to know. And there are a lot of companies out there that are selling products that do not do what they claim to do. So if you can make something yourself, you can save a lot of money. You can make something more powerful. This is the most powerful UV sterilization uh, unit that I have in the house, and I created it myself. And you can have something that you know works. So that's it. Thanks for watching.
This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com.